Hey folks, in this session we'll experiment with AI models using the Oliama tool and the file-free model directly from a browser. For that, we've built an online playground that you can use for free on any machine that can run a web browser so you don't even need a fast GPU or CPU. And this is meant to be interactive, so go ahead and open that link that you'll also find in the video description so you can play along. So if you open this link, it will open this GitHub repository. From there, select the code space button in there, and it will ask to create a code space. A code space is an online development environment that you can use directly from your browser. You need a GitHub account for that, so if you don't have one, you can create one for free. Next, select create code space, and then it will take a few minutes uh, the first time to create the environment. So you can just go grab a cup of coffee and wait till it's ready. Now we have something familiar. It's the very same VS Code editor that you know, but right into your browser. So first, let's use the terminal to check that everything works. So type in oliama run file free. So by running this command, I can chat with the model. It's like a minimal chat GPT right in my terminal. I'm hearing my cat mirroring in the background. So for inspiration, let's say create an haiku about a hungry cat. And there, I get the response from the model. So everything looks good in there. So you can play a bit with the model. And once you're done, you can use Ctrl D to close the chat. Next, let's open this Oliama notebook in there. This is a Jupyter notebook, and it allows to mix markdown text along with code to create interactive experiences. First, we define the model in there. If you want to play with different models, you can do it by changing the constant in there. Just make sure that you download the model with Oliama first. Now, for every code block that you see, you can modify the code if you want, and you can get this button on the left that you can use to run the code. Make sure to run it at least once every time you see one to make sure you set the context right for the notebook. Next, we set up the OpenAI client so that we can make calls to the model. Oliama provides a compatible API, so we just have to set the base URL in there and put an API key even though Oliama don't need it. Let's run it, and now we can play with the SDK. Just notice uh, this npm prefix here in the import. It's because we're using Dino as our runtime to run TypeScript in the notebook here. It wouldn't be needed uh, if you're using Node.js. So now that we have set up the OpenAI client, we can use it to generate a chat completion. So again, uh, we use the SDK, we specify the model name, and send it our prompt. Let's run it. And here we get the result. Now it's your turn to play with the notebook. We have more examples here with prompt engineering, few shot learning, and even retrieval augmented generation. So once you've completed the notebook, you also have a few samples in this folder in there. You can open any of them, like for example, this classifier one. And then you can run directly the example using the run button at the top. So here, what I'm trying to do is extract the sentiment of a text using JSON format. And here we get the result. So this is mostly positive, not too much aggressive, and in French. Now it's your turn to play with generative AI, and the best thing is that you don't even have to set up anything. Stay tuned for the next video, we have plenty more content coming for you to learn more about how you can use AI more effectively and deploy your apps when it's time to shine.